Hello everyone, this is Ray Kirsch with WordPress Magic. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find and install premium WordPress themes. The first thing we're going to want to do is navigate to ThemeForest. So, and this is basically a marketplace where authors go ahead and create WordPress themes among many other things. But this is where I buy my themes. And I've had very only good experiences with them. So you're going to come to ThemeForest here and click on WordPress. And once you're in this section, you're going to want to begin your search. Now before I begin my search, I just want to explain why it is so important to go ahead and get yourself a premium WordPress theme. So ask yourself these questions. How important is it to you to have a beautiful looking website? How important is your time? Do you know how to code and do you want to spend time learning how to code? And basically, to sum up the answer to all those questions, a premium theme is going to save you hours of time because the authors of the theme incorporate so many different user-friendly options. Now, keep in mind that the goal of your website should somewhat determine the style of theme that you're looking for. So if your website is purely going to be informational, then you could look at a theme that by default has options that you like or has a certain demo that you like. If you're focusing on building a website that's more e-commerce focused um, or is for lead generation, then you want to look at themes that focus on those areas. Most themes are pretty flexible. In terms of saving time, it's always good to start with whatever is closest to your goals. Now I'm going to show you just how to click through and find decent themes and what to look for. So one way to find good themes is to just start with the ratings. I'm only looking for the best of the best. I'm willing to pay anywhere from 40 to $70 for a premium theme. It's worth the cost. And I think you will agree with me once we find a few good themes. Now I, I know of a few good authors, but I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. Now you can also filter down and you can select specific tags. So let's say for the time being we want to find business related themes. So we're going to select that filter and I'm going to look for a theme with a lot of sales and high ratings or from authors that I recognize. So I'm going to go back to that filter and I'm going to make it a little bit stronger little more specific. I'm going to boost up the sales to high. In fact, I'm going to boost it up to top sellers. Because I only wanted to be dealing with a theme that is highly supported, is constantly being updated and worked on and improved. I don't want anything in between. A theme is not something to be cheap about. Because if you're going to sit there and spend 50, 60 hours on your website trying to make it look as best as it can, why not get only the best? Makes sense, right? So let's try this Unicom theme. Let's try this theme here. Let's try... Ah, good layers. I'm a big fan of their themes. Um, let's see here. Now keep in mind the names of these themes will kind of indicate to you what they're focused on. So I, I got three themes open here. Let's look at those three themes. So when you click on a theme, it'll take you to this page where Basically, the authors go ahead and they tell you all about the theme and everything that's going on. I want to point out here that the Visual Composer page builder is phenomenal. It saves an incredible amount of time and it makes building beautiful pages so simple and easy. Most premium themes have a page builder because they know that it just makes a world of a difference. And if you're looking to purchase a theme, say, for a client, then keep that in mind as well because it's just it makes everything so much more user friendly okay so we see here all this different stuff that you know they're telling me is going on that's fine and dandy I want to see how the theme looks so I'm gonna click on live preview now once you go to the live demo it'll take you to something that looks like this and they're basically gonna be showing off all the different things you can do now I know some authors give you like a one-click option install for the demo so if you look at this you're like wow this is incredible I love the layout you could just install it, 
Granted, it will not come with all the pictures and all the text. You need to fill that in yourself. So this is what this Unicon theme looks like. There are just so many themes and so many good authors that it, it pays to take your time and check things out. Let's check out the second theme, the fox. And you see here all these different demos that they have. And if you're not convinced of the power and worthiness of a premium theme, hopefully this will convince you. Now keep in mind what you're looking at here is hundreds of hours of work that they've done on building their demos. You know you're going to have to put in the time to build it like this, but it's going to be worth it and it's going to look a hundred times better than any free theme out there. So, okay fine, this theme is decent. Let's go to one of my favorites. This is called X the theme. It's incredibly versatile. Now I'm going to just spend some time here. If you haven't paused the video yet, you can do so. I'm going to look for a theme that works for me, and when I find it, I'm going to continue the video, at which point I will make the purchase in front of your eyes, and I will then proceed to install the theme on my website. So that will be like a, a walkthrough of the process of how to do that. Okay, I will see you soon. Okay, so I've decided which theme I want to purchase. So I'm going to click Buy It Now. Now I already have an account. Um, when you go ahead to purchase your theme that you've chosen, you're going to need to create an account. So after you create a, an account and make your purchase, you will see this page pop up. This is the thank you, you'll get an email confirmation, and just click that download button. Okay, you want to save the file. Once your theme downloads, you want to navigate to it. And what you're going to want to do is extract the content from the zip folder. Because within that folder is the theme itself. So if you try to upload the entire zip folder, it's not going to work. So extract, and you can do that by right clicking, going to extract all, and then just hitting enter. And then once you extract, just pay attention to where this download is located. Because you're going to need to remember that once we go back to WordPress. Okay, so now that we've found a theme, purchased the theme, extracted contents from the folder, let's go back to the back end of our WordPress website. And we're going to navigate to Appearance, and then we're going to click on Themes. Okay, so right now I see that I only have one theme installed, which is the default. And I'm going to go ahead and click Add New. Now once this page shows up, we want to click Upload Theme. Whereas normally you might just go here and search for free themes, we already have a premium theme, so we just need to upload it. So click Upload Theme, then click Browse. And then navigate where you downloaded it, which you should have remembered. And then click on the folder that was extracted, not the zip folder, the extracted folder. And then go to the theme. And then double click on the theme, the theme zip folder. Not the main folder that you downloaded, but the theme zip folder. And once you do that, click install now. After your theme is installed, you may be asked to install plugins that the theme needs to function properly. And if that's the case, just click the Go to Install button that you see and install all of the plugins that it recommends. Now you're going to register your product. Most premium themes require you to register your product. Otherwise, people would just be stealing the themes and installing them on their websites which I do not recommend, especially if you plan on doing anything professional with your website because it's just it's a bad idea. Don't steal. To register your product, each theme has its own specific method of doing so. Mine is on the theme's homepage, which appears right under the icon. So my username, my purchase code, so I have to navigate back to my ThemeForest Invado Market account. 
and then you're going to want to hover over your username click download and on this page you will see the theme that you purchased so go to that click on download and then click on license certificate and purchase code and click on that and that will automatically download your the information you need so here's my purchase code just gonna copy that and also I need my API key so to generate the API key you wanna go to your username in your account and then scroll down to settings and that will open up a new window and in that window scroll down and you'll see on the left side API keys in this box here click on that and what we want to do is we want to generate an API key and then we're going to copy the API key go back to our website enter that in and that should work fantastic registration complete so now that my theme is installed and ready to rock I'm going to start building my website now you can follow my journey of building me building this professional website by going to the description below and looking for the link titled um, creating my WordPress website from scratch part one or maybe I'll make this the part two because the part one you would have already covered if you're this far okay I hope that helped if you have any questions or comments or would like suggestions please leave a comment below as always a like helps me very much and if you subscribe you will be notified of when I post new videos and all kinds of good stuff like that. Thanks for watching.